Hey, what's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC.com and today we have the Maverick Quantum Flux. This is the XT 110 scale brushless system that's in it. So we're gonna take a look at that. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do this thing on a speed run. We're gonna run it on 2S and on 3S with our little Sky RC GPS. Also gonna test these out. These are some uh, Ropex tires that we're gonna give a shot at and uh, these are on-road tires. So we'll see what the difference is maybe on speed far as how these work or how these actually handle on road compared to just the stock tire. So I'll put links down in the description below for all the stuff that I show here, less as far as like the GPS, because we don't sell that here on the website at omgrc.com. But nonetheless, we're gonna get this thing out of the box, take a look at it, show you guys what it all comes with. All right, taking a look at the outside of the box first, 110 scale, four wheel drive, water resistant, it's already pre-painted body, ready to run. You do need batteries and a charger. It is. 3S LiPo compatible, so you can run it on a 2S LiPo if desired. And a brushless power, off-road cool, 2.4 gigahertz radio. As far as there's the uh, Maverick, as far as their brushless system. So let's go ahead, I don't think there's anything else. Let's get this thing out of the box. Ole. All right, so taking a look at it in the box, how it's already pre-packaged. Okay, so now that we got everything out of the box, you do get the heat sinks. So I would recommend that you go ahead and stick that on, especially if you're running it on a 3S, but just on a 2S nonetheless. You do get a little T-style wrench here. It is plastic, but you can you know, work on taking your wheels off and such. The sticker sheet is pretty much, well, there's just the two, Maverick Quantum, as far as that's all that's on there. Nothing else on the back of it. Instruction manual, uh, I would say check online a little bit more. There's not a lot of information in here, just kind of getting started as far as like the battery, since it doesn't come with the battery or charger, so you're gonna need to get that. When it comes to the radio, you just have four double A's going in the bottom, so pretty good. Uh, you get your little foam grip. Do you have your other settings here, your channel two, channel one, your dual rate, just to kind of adjust your steering and, and such to kind of slow that down, especially if you're doing speed runs, the wheels only go so far. Your on and off switch and other settings in here, reverse settings and such, binding. So yes, pretty nice. Nice little radio, feels pretty decent in the hand. Like it. Let's get on to the truck, because that's the main focus here. Let's get that off of there. Take a look at the body, tires. I like this color. Uh, these are more of a hot seller as far as the truck goes, but I do like the, the stadium truck. But just kind of looking at that from the front, they're just kind of a faux light bucket, so they're not LEDs or nothing like that that are in there. But the wheels, I like the wheels. Something different, man. You know, I have a little color instead of just always being black or, or what have you. Wheelie bar, so that's gonna be nice. Seeing how that wheelies up pretty good right there. I do like the wing as far as the truck goes, version of it. it doesn't have the wing, but I believe you could probably add something like that to it. So you guys can let me know. Yeah, like the body. Looks really nice. So, cool. Okay, on to the inside of this. So we got ourselves a 3300 kV motor. It's a 40 amp electronic speed controller. It's brushless, this setup here. Nine kilogram servo, on and off switch. It's where our housing for our receivers at. So let's take a look at the bottom of it here too. Underside, the underside of the, the truck. So as you can see here, you know, it shouldn't, I don't know how hard it's gonna to be to work on this thing or anything like that. Obviously just brand new, but you can see there's there's quite a, there's a little bit of hardware to this. All the arms look pretty, they're pretty thick. So I'm happy with that. Now, well, let's go ahead and just do one thing and is this drop test. So I've seen this in other videos too. The suspension, uh, the oil that they used in this particular vehicle uh, is pretty thick. So it's not gonna allow the suspension to work like it's supposed to. So I'm gonna run it as it is, but I will change it to a lighter oil. Uh, you guys can leave comments down below of what you've already maybe changed yours to. I don't wanna be long-winded as far as on this. I wanna get this sucker out and run it because I'm just as excited as, it, as uh, anybody else getting a new RC car wants to run it. So anyway, you can see as far as uh, all the other good stuff that's in there, those pillow ball or pivot ball, what have you. Uh, adjustable as far as when it comes to your, your spring rate to stiffen that up. These springs feel pretty firm anyhow. So usually this stuff always comes pretty uh, pretty soft, but in this case here, yeah, that's it. So give you another little spin. As far as tire compound goes, really nice. Seems to be really good. It's kind of like a on off-road kind of tire setup, so nothing too crazy. 
Let's get this sucker out, man. I'm just excited to run this thing. I've been waiting for this thing for a while. So let's get it out and see how fast it goes. Have fun with it. All right, so I'm gonna first go ahead and run this on a 2S LiPo. It's a Venom pack, 5,000 milliamp, 50C discharge. Then I have these 3S packs. So this one I've always run quite a few times. This Venom pack, 50C discharge. Then we have this Muscle pack. So this is 6,000 milliamp, 75C discharge. So we're gonna see if there's a little bit of difference in speed by 25C, you know, difference between these two packs. So anyway, we've got the GPS. We're gonna see how fast this thing goes. It is very windy out right now. So it's gonna definitely uh, kill some of our speeds. So I'm gonna try to go with the wind. All right, so we're running on our 2S LiPo and it is zeroed out. Just shows a two on there. We've got our peak speed. So you can see that, okay. Anyhow, we're gonna get this thing a rip. All right, see where we're at with it. All right, so it went 31 miles an hour, not too bad on 2S LiPo. So let's go ahead and give this thing a rip on the 3, 3S LiPo, and that will be on the 50C Venom back, pack. Sorry. All right, running this again, it's gonna be on 3S LiPo, 5,000 milliamp, 50C discharge. Had an issue with the four AA's that were in my radio, so it does make a, a beeping noise when the batteries go low, so that's a good thing. Waiting for this truck to go by. Throttle. Still full throttle. All right, see what this little ripper does. This thing moves good. Yeah, it rips pretty good. Oh man, 45 miles an hour. Very impressive. Man, a $210 RC vehicle, 45 miles an hour. I'm happy with it, man. This thing looks good, runs nice. So let's go ahead, we'll try it. Since it did 45 miles an hour, we'll try that 75C, 6,000 milliamp. We'll see if it makes any difference. All right, so now we're running that muscle pack, 75C discharge, still 3S LiPo, 6,000 milliamp. Let's go ahead and see if it makes any difference. We're at 45 miles an hour with the uh, Venom pack, 3S LiPo, 70, or 50C discharge. So see if this makes any difference. It's a new pack in here too. So maybe it'll be a, get a little bit more punch. All right, full throttle. Still full throttle. All right. Let's see what this thing does. Man, this thing is good, man, for the price. I'll give it one more rip anyhow, but let's see if it made any difference. All right, so still 45 miles an hour. No, so good. I'll give it one more run here. That's full throttle. All right, let's see if it made any difference as far as speed on it. No, still 45 miles an hour. So I'm happy with it. Okay, just an FYI, you're gonna want, this is just the plastic one that it comes with to try to get your wheels off. And I say try is because I tried it and it doesn't really, doesn't work. So you're gonna want a, a metal one. As far as the size of it, I'm not 100% sure. It might be like a 10 millimeter or something like that. But anyway, just a heads up on that part. If you have problems trying to get it off with this plastic one, you will. All right, so we're gonna run these things on these Ropec tires. These are a little bit smaller dimension. They're a little bit lighter anyhow. So we're gonna see what the speed will be. This is running on a 3S, that 6,000 milliamps, 75C discharge battery, the uh, muscle pack. So we've got it on, it's only at two miles an hour because I spun it, that was it. So let's go ahead and run this thing, see how fast this thing goes. It'll be interesting to see if it goes any faster or slower. I'm gonna guess it's a little bit slower. All right, 42, figure to go a little bit slower. Two little knobs 
knobs here. This is going to be for, especially if you're just new to the hobby, you can turn this thing down so the car doesn't go very fast. This one is going to be for brakes. So if you turn this thing all the way up, go into the, uh, the right, it's going to make the brakes really strong. So you can adjust the strength of the brakes. This one again, yeah, just the throttle. So it's pretty nice. So it's especially if you like, this is a better deal, I feel, as far as when it comes to the brushless system than it is over just the brushed. Yeah, the other one does come with a battery and charger, but gonna have more power in this thing. Anyhow, and uh, this is a little bit more serious vehicle. I just feel it's really cool, like it, and I think you can kind of grow into this thing by just turning this power down. And then as you get more comfortable with the vehicle, and I gotta say, it's pretty easy to drive. It's pretty nice the way it handles. So, uh, yeah, I would go more towards, I'd lean more towards this one, especially even if you're kind of new to the hobby and you're just kind of getting into it, but you want to spend a little bit of money, you know, just go ahead and just pull the trigger on this one. Uh, you know, as far as this Maverick line, uh, the Flux version, I think you're going to be happy with it. Get yourself a, even a 2S LiPo, you'd be happy on a 2S LiPo. I think it did, what, 31 miles an hour on a, on a 2S LiPo. That's not bad. And then 45 miles an hour on to the uh, 3S. So really cool. I like it quite a bit. I'm very happy with this vehicle. So, appreciate you guys watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check us out at omgrc.com. Catch you guys real soon. Later.